Welcome. This is the Coach Kayo Show, um, your live podcast where we talk all things soccer. I'm Kayo De McKinnon, um, and I want to firstly remind you um, that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Um, don't take that thought or don't take uh, that statement uh, for granted. You know, you will one day need it, I can assure you. Nevertheless, remember, while we talk all things soccer here, uh, our framework, our, um, our objective, our philosophy here at the Coach Kayo Show is to make sure that we are inspiring our young people to live out their purpose. We think there is, I think we believe there's power. Um, and beyond power, there's an authority that um, is activated when you are living out your purpose. And we want to uh, use this platform um, to encourage our young people and you know all of our listeners, um, regardless of what age range you you fall. Um, it's important though that our framework and our philosophy uh, and our purpose comes comes first, and that is to inspire, inspire our, our young people. So we will continue to do that. I want to say uh, um, an official hi to those that are now making their way uh, into this live podcast. Please let me know that you're here. And I would kindly ask you to please do share uh, this live podcast. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, Kyrie McKinnon and Co., please do so. And and so that you don't forget um, the podcast every Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, please hit the notification bell. Please do continue to support the podcast. You can look at it wherever you listen or look. Um, Spotify, Anchor, uh, it's live on Instagram at this point. It's live on Facebook obviously, and it's live on YouTube. So wherever you feel comfortable, uh, you can share your comments, share your ideas so that it could be, that it could also be shared here so that, you know, people listening or looking can have a different perspective and it could help all of us to grow. So please let me know that you're here. Please do share. Um, so that the message can get out there and we can attract much more competent people in, in subject areas that will benefit all of us in this, in this, in this community, um, in this environment, uh, because sometimes you don't get access to a lot of things until the back end because of the community you're in, because of the environment you're in. And so uh, we all have to use uh, different platforms and, and different situations to make sure that the information that we might not be privy to, it, it's coming to the forefront and it can definitely um, advance our life, our lives in a, uh, our life in a way, um, or all our lives in a way that uh, will benefit not just us, but the ones coming behind and so on and so on. So, Without further ado, without further ado, we want to try and discuss a very important topic. And I know some of you probably would have looked at the flyer, which we tried to do before so that we can um, give a bit of prep so that um, those that listen and, and look at the live podcast um, could share their ideas. And we want to talk about the game model, and this is a this is a very important aspect now more than ever for young players, 
players who are aspiring to play at uh, at a high level, um, the high performance level. It's important to uh, to know uh, what a game model is. It's important to know um, how it can help you, how you can benefit from it. It's important to know where to start. Um, it's important to know what it what it what it's uh, comprised of. So we'll try to uh, touch on those things and and see how we can uh, be of value. Excuse me, with our service to you, and 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 see if it's helped to move or advance your game even further, and and kind of guide you. I mean, how you prepare, how you live, uh, what are the things you're doing day to day that it might be affecting uh, your goals and, and, and have a better understanding now so that uh, you could see a bit more progress in what you're doing. But before we jump into that, give you a chance to, uh, to share, um, to get comfortable, you know, and we'll get back to it after this quick interruption uh, to bring the KMX VI much. Please do support it as we continue on this journey of um, bringing our service to uh, young people all across the board, um, wherever they are, whatever they might be dealing with. As you continue to support us, we'll continue to support them. So we'll be right back after this quick break. Coyote, McKinnon and Company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon and Company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kyo Show. This is your live podcast. I'm Kyo Dan McKinnon. Um, we're talking about the game model uh, tonight. I uh, would like to extend the opportunity uh, to our young ballers, uh, to um, soccer personnel, football personnel, based on where you're listening to this podcast from, to... Uh, give your idea or give your definition on what a game model is, is important. If you're a player, if you are part of a, a program, um, you should, you should um, have an idea of what a game model is. Based, don't, don't matter the age, you should, you should have some sense of what a game model is from its simplest form to its to a more complex um, form you should have an idea if you're playing the game of soccer um, or the game of football you should know what a game model is so you want to start there if you don't know what it is and 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 you honestly don't know what it is, it's okay. Uh, we will try to to bring it to light and, and hopefully it will give you much more excitement in how you move forward, how you prepare, how you play the game, uh, and, and so on and so on. So it's referred to a, a set of principles and sub-principles that um, guide team that guide the individual and guide functional group 
uh, a functional group behavior. When we talk about functional group, we talk about units within soccer. So again, it's a set of principles and sub-principles that guide team behavior, guide and guides individual behavior, and guides functional groups or functional groups behavior. This is within the game. Um, the way these things are happening, the, the consistency in which it's happening, um, the frequency uh, that um, that this this happened to get us to the de to our desired behavior is what actually identify uh, with the team's identity or give you uh, or actually determines what the identity of the team is. So it's these set of principles and sub-principles that guides your behavior from a team perspective, uh, from an individual perspective, and from a functional group perspective. Now we talk about principles and, 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 and what it means at, at KMSA, you know, we talk about principles heavily because uh, we believe that uh, principles are foundational truths or it's the foundational truth that guides or influences more influences one's behavior and their belief so when we talk about principles we are we, we're talking about a oneness we're talking about a character that really don't change and and these principles um, they are based on you know they formulate the way the team will look the identity of the team um, and that holds all of us accountable it speaks to the holistic thing it speaks to the individual responsibility it speaks to functional group i know most of you who might be listening it, more times than that you can speak to the the team perspective um, because you know uh, people like to group think and, and and all of these ideas and and they, you come to this one try to come to this one understanding but with the game model you have to also understand there's an individual aspect of it that you have to understand and sometimes we we neglect it, or sometimes the way in which we approach it is not aligned with no principle. It's not aligned uh, with within a team concept. Because a game model is what creates the identity. It what determines the identity um, when these things are happening consistently or they're happening with 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 much frequencies with much frequency it de it determines the identity of the group so while the the, the 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 team perspective is so is super important there's an individual aspect that we must we must pay attention to and we must be able um to allow that process to happen before we could get to the collective. And then there's this, there's, uh, there's the functional group. And the functional group, we talk about units, and that's simply uh, the defensive unit, the midfield unit, and obviously uh, the forwards, the attacking unit. So you see, while there's this big focus on how the team performs or how the team go about his business. Uh, sometimes we neglect the individual aspect and then we obviously will neglect the functional aspect because it actually starts, it, you build it from the whole team, the, the game model is the team, but then you, you begin the process with building the individual and then having it interconnect with 
the functional groups. And then you get this, this big picture. And, and sometimes because we, we don't understand or we have not realized uh, the importance of the game model and it's not being taught um, and, and it's, there's not a focus there, we, we begin to have these you know, very superficial discussions about what should be and what should not be. So it's very important that wherever we're at, <clears throat> internationally, academy level, um, club soccer, travel soccer, because at all these levels, obviously the international level speak for itself. Excuse me, the academy level should be speaking for itself. Um, but what I've what I've recognized speaking to both academy sometimes even um, senior players and more and travel players uh, this is foreign and and i say it's foreign because you know these are the players that says uh, to me listen i i want to get to the highest level be it you know be it college or they want to go back and play for their country they, they want an opportunity to try out with a professional team or a professional academy. Um, they have big goals, but they don't they don't understand what the game model is. They, within their environment, for whatever reason, or for whatever reason, it's it it it's something that is not being um, really. Uh, pushed, you know, you hear people talk about it, you know, our game model is this, our game model is that, but if the most important people within that whole thing um, don't understand what what it is, then what really is the expectation there? These set of principles and sub principles, you have to know principles. Like I said, at Kemethe here, we believe it's the foundational truth. Which influence someone's um, belief, it influences their behavior. And it creates, we talk about character, it's, it's principle, you know. And as I dive deep into that, you, you, you begin to realize that, you know, and you begin to examine your own self to, to see. Because it's only when things come into your consciousness, you can really begin to make transformational moves, right? It's very difficult when you don't understand to tr to be to become transformed and to be transformed you have to understand principles because principles actually uh, it's your character it's this oneness is this oneness that you have that is consistent that is consistent, you know. So it's important you understand a game model because it's speaking to principle. It's speaking to a, a behavior, a, a, a character that you need to, uh, that you need to be consistent with on a daily basis. You can't be one thing today and then something tomorrow. It's a realization that all of us, you know, all of us need to come in, in line with. It's not limited to certain people. It's for all of us, including myself. Um, and, and sometimes people are good at seeing what is wrong. And people are good at telling you what, telling you what is wrong. But... Uh, 
they really can't make that impact or influence transformation in your life because they themselves don't even know. It same thing happens on the field when there's not a clear understanding across the board with regards to how a game model is defined. It creates too much variation, too many variations that cause chaos. And people, perspectives and opinions become more of importance than creating a oneness. And we could speak to that in even life. Because like I said, the framework here is to allow people to live out their purpose. And there's no, if there's no understanding of principles, there's no understanding of purpose. If there's no, and if there's no understanding um, in the game of soccer, if you don't understand the principles, then your desired outcome will be, uh, it will be messed up for better word. Because it's that oneness that gets us to our, our, our desired outcome. So for those who might now making their way into this live podcast, and obviously if you are unable to listen to it now, um, you can always go back and try to listen and, and share it with your, with your athlete or have the discussion with your coach and more about what a game model is. We're saying there's a set of principles and sub-principles that guides the team, individual, and functional group behavior within the game. We didn't stop there. The consistency and the frequency in which this is happening actually determines the identity, the identity of the team how the team plays, how it performs, how the staff operate. When that is not clear, there's confusion because human error is filled with ego and, 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 um, and competitiveness. So because of different beliefs, different cultures, different ideas, different all of these things, different education, um, different experiences in life, you oftentimes see the undermining of things because there is there's not a oneness there. And the character of the thing is destroyed because there's not oneness. When there's not when there when there's not a oneness, there is uh, there is there is separation. That means you are unstable. One time you're this, you the, what they call it, you're schizophrenic. One time you're this, next time you're that. It's a, it's something that you know, we must all realize because it's not just it's not just happening um, when you when you come to the field or when you come into that environment. It's because it's happening outside of the environment. Something that I am happy that. I'm coming into the realization of how dangerous it is. You know, like I said, people can easily talk about what you've done, what you've done, what you've said, your this, your that. But oftentimes, what we say in soccer, the best coaches are able to see the issues or the problem developing. The, the best coaches, don't see, just don't see when the problem already happened. Because it's important to see it before it happened so that you can you can keep it out of the non-conscious side of the player's brain so it don't become, so it don't come into their consciousness. So the good coaches are able to intercept the problem before it even happened. So they see this thing developing, they're able to apply the principles, they're able to apply the right behavior and help the player to discover 
And then that goes into the non-conscious and they work it and they work it and they work it and it comes into the consciousness. And be now that non-conscious thing is now in the consciousness and now they're able to operate from autonomy. That's the process. You're constantly feeding information because you want it to go. Uh, you want the player, the players or the athletes to begin to internalize things that it becomes their own and now they can function uh, with autonomy. And that comes when you understand principles. This is why the game model is important. This is why it, it should be taught from its most simple form to a more to when the player or the athlete is more advanced to the more complex, uh, to being more complex and, and really working through it with all uh, the different uh, things that come with it. It's important. And, and that's one of the things that we really focus on uh, within this environment. Um, we really focus on that. We really focus on teaching principles. Really is the hardest part uh, because it, it can become very boring because I have a lot of long answers because I have to break stuff down in my head uh, and things become too complex or things be, you know, things I don't understand. Uh, I, I I have to try and break it down. And, and that process is not the easiest process, um, but that's my process. So... I don't always have the short answers for things. And I'm okay with that because I'm trying to get to a place where I understand. You cannot you cannot say uh, you are effective or efficient in anything that you're doing unless you have an understanding. Unless you can now uh, function from a position of autonomy. So the idea is to take the information and and internalize it and break it down and, and, and so that you can have a clear concept, you can have a clear view of what you're looking at, of what you uh, are trying to, uh, to accomplish at the end, and then the actions become a representation of that. So for some people, they could get right to it. They're, they're very intelligent. They have bachelors and masters and they've gone to school and all these manner of things. Uh, but for me, it, it has, I got to try and break it down and, and, and try to understand it and put it in different positions and, 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 and situations to see like, okay, is there an understanding? Uh, is, is it clear? But we really focus on, 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 you know, on those, on principles, teaching principles, um, and, I, and after talking to like a lot of mentors and, and and many having many education educational sessions within um, the soccer framework that is uh, talking to coaches, I see that you know how important it is to teach principles. Very important. Uh, if you have to keep instructing players. If you have to keep uh, telling players what to do, uh, I don't see them going really far. And I think also it affects you as a leader and as a coach when uh, you have to continuously tell people what to do. Excuse me. You hold rank. And you become just a positional leader rather than uh, the real leader, which, from my perspective, supposed to bring about transformation in people's life, supposed to move them from where they are to where they need to be, and sometimes surpass you. You know, we heard so many times that the, the student becomes the teacher and and, and we say it, uh, you know, very loosely. 
but that should be the idea of the teach of the leader and you know there's there's too many uh people that are more concerned about having a rank having a position um, rather than bringing about transformation and people who are more concerned with bringing about transformation and leading in the real way teach principles because principles empower people because you have to uh, principles to me is like information you're given a whole lot of information because they have not realized um, or, or fully understand what you're saying even though you're standing on this fundamental truth it it how it's coming out of your mouth it's not necessarily going into their brain especially if it's new it needs it needs time but once they begin to internalize and they begin to take ownership and it's about accountability it's empowering so now they have their own ideas they have their own approach they have all of this power and and sometimes people don't want to relinquish that power so they want to keep you they want to keep you in in this um in this place where they always have the influence over your mind this we're talking about game model but this is the power it's not just it is not just changing um, the behavior of the player and giving and allowing them to live out their purpose but it's also giving them this freedom um, from those who constantly feel threatened when they don't have the type of impact and the influence that they want to have based on their perspective you see most people will not listen or they will not want to connect with people who are um are not concerned about being employed but uh, is who put it great i think it was miles monroe said you know he don't want to be employed he wanted to be deployed <laughs> i think something to that end but you know people are threatened by that and and they and they don't feel safe because they don't have the ability um, to influence and impact a person based on the level they are at they they're fixed with their mindset i think when you understand game model and you understand principle it gives you wings and it allows you to fly free it allows you uh, to be creative it it allow you to take more risk more risk more reward for you to get to the top you have to take massive challenges on they say be comfortable being uncomfortable that's a high performer that's a winner i can't tell you enough what happens um uh, and you go into a room and even though you might be the most humble person humility is also a threat it is a threat to the arrogant it's a threat to the egotistical person is a threat to the person who feel that they they might not be competent as much as they claim to be so humility <laughs> when you understand principles you could have a position of humility but it creates a lot of problems it's very important to understand this game model because of the power it gives to you as a player and the persons who are responsible for teaching the game model is the persons who is the is the coaches um who go who go on these courses and 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 they go to education and they go to all these things is to come and bring it back to you to empower you they were empowered so they can empower you 
So if you were you are you 16, you 15, you 13, uh, senior player, and you don't know what a game model is, that's an issue. And we really focus on that. I ask a young player, what is focus to you? And I ask other players, older players, what is focus to you? Is and and you know not being distracted and not I say focus is more on uh, the consistency of your behavior that is aligned with your outcome, with your desired outcome. So when when you talk about focus, that might be a concentration thing, not to be distracted and and all of that and 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 and. And people say, oh, when you focus, it's because you're intense. No, that's not focus. Focus is when you have a you have a clear understanding of where you want to go, and then your behavior and your actions are aligned with that consistently. Every day. That's a focused person. And discipline is sitting right to the sitting right next to that. And this all comes with having an understanding of these principles and set of and, and sub principles that you need to have an idea of, or you need to be living, not an idea, but you need to be living to see that you focus. Because to know to have the to to, to have the uh, the know how, it will then um, influence or have an impact on how you behave, how you live, how you speak, how you carry yourself, how you do all, how you how you practice, how many contact hours you have. Because now you know principle, foundational truth. And if you say you focus, you will be your your behavior will be aligned with the outcome of players who understand principles. They play at the highest level. Yet they're still being coached. They, they, they still need a leader. They still need transformation. Because when you get to a certain point, you need to know what is my next step. What is my next step? Understand the principles. Excuse me. Please let me know that you're here if you have a different perspective. Um, even if it's not clear, um, let me see how much I could break it down uh, so that you can understand. But a game model is about principles. But we must understand how important principles are. And if we look if we try to look past the importance of knowing and fully understanding principles, then we we are not standing on truth. And when you're not standing on truth, sometimes you will get there. And I think that is what is happening. I don't think people respect the process of... Um, of understanding and, 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 and developing uh, this character. Because when you talk about principle, you're talking about a character. We're talking about a oneness with uh, the things that allow you to live out your gift. It can be schizophrenic. can be disciplined one time and then you're not you can't be a perfect want to be a professional soccer one day and then next week you don't want to be that anymore you want to go play another sport like a 
that's not principle. You might come to realize that you're in the wrong place, but oftentimes I've seen people say, oh, I don't want to do this, but I want to do that. But it's not really, it's not really a purpose-driven thing. It, it's something of comfort. I want to try this. I want to try that. And before you know it, they stop trying everything and they're doing nothing. Because they have no focus. Because what they're doing there, they're not on the, they don't have a clear understanding of the principles that comes with what they're doing. And a game model in soccer provide clear principles, clear truths that you must, that must impact and influence what you believe, or how you live, how you carry yourself. And this thing bring you uh, closer to your outcomes. But people are denying that process. There's a less, there's less more respect for this, uh, this process of understanding and learning principles, um, because they have adopted the the uh, any means necessary approach, and they have done it, and they're getting success. You see, people are are are, are operating from a a position of what is popular, what is, um, and there's a place for what the needs are, but it must be within the context of what allow a player to reach the highest level, to become a high performer. Giving people what they want with, with outside of the context and the expectations and the standards of the game, is that, tr is that right? Is that, is that fair? But it's but it, it it's when based on what success is, we got the numbers, we got the we got everything, and, and it's it's moving smooth. But is it right? And and how many young players who want to benefit, who want to play at a high level, who um, they have this burning desire and this passion to play at the highest level. It's not really about the money for them. It's about uh, feeding this desire, this passion, uh, this thing that uh, drives drives them every day. That sometimes they're they're scared that they might not reach it, and they like, and I, and they don't see no way out, and they give up. They give up because they're not standing on foundational truth. A house that don't stand on a proper foundation will sink, it will bend, it will fall, it will be destroyed. This is the reality. So we, we use every other excuse of why young people are leaving the game at your thirteens. And we've, we, and you see people coming up with all of these different strategies. And most of the strategies I'm seeing, none is based around principles. It is feeding a, <laughs> yeah. it is feeding a desire or feeding an emotion that wants to relinquish a process, a truth. The game model provides the truth because the game model speaks to principles. So if we take on this do whatever is necessary and and it and it's working because the numbers are going up. Um, more people are attracted. Um, every every month is on order. But 
But now we are arriving at a place where we have less control. We have a lot of chaos. Because we've seen a lot of reactive, uh, we've seen leaders in reactive mood. It's all over the news, what, what happened with young players and what they're still dealing with. And everybody have to react. Oh, let's put this in place. Or, or let's put that in place. And okay, let's do this now. Hmm. It's, it's crazy, right? They don't respect the process anymore. They have found alternative ways away from principles. This game can be very simple in its complex form. It can be very simple. Do what is right. Do what is right. And what is right is there's a, there's a game model that speaks to principles and those principles should be taught. That should be at any means necessary. The principles should be taught. This is why. The level of development for some people is way up here and for some people it's way down here. But they say we're making progress. A hundred and something years we still make in progress. <laughs> so what, what are these people doing so much? Yes, they have the resources, but you could have all the resources in the world. You could have everything in the world. People who have everything still suffering from depression and, and still, uh, still dealing with stuff that they can't even overcome. Some of the smartest people the most intelligent people have mental issues, have mental health issues. So what you, what you have don't necessarily speak to what you should be or what you can be. There's one thing, there's one thing that absolutely gets you to where you need to be. It's principles. It's truth. It's truth. <laughs> your gifts will make room for you and bring you before great men. Principles cannot lose because it's the foundational truth. It brings you, it creates this character and this character of oneness where whatever you're trying to get to, you're doing every day. You're doing every day. Every aspect of your life is committed to that process. That's why we really coach principles here. They don't want that. They don't want... They want the any means necessary because it's producing success. Hopefully we have a new idea because we, we're unable to control it now. And more and more systems coming in place because that's what's happened. That's what happens. It's now let's educate. Let's 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 have all these workshops. Let's let's do all of these things. But if we teach the game model in its truest form, and where we speak to the holistic development of lives through the game model, we begin that process because we begin the process with truth. 
What about that? We begin the process with truth. And if we start any other way, we've got to we've got to live that out to its fullness. And when you abuse something, you create chaos. You create dysfunction. You create this lack of trust. That's that's what comes with it. It's for all of us. When there's not a level of oneness and consistency, it creates dysfunction. People lose trust. Then they become just as smart as you. It creates more problems than it and find solutions. You gotta keep looking for solutions because the truth is not there. Just on a side note, you know, even in soccer, you know, you're educate, you go to soccer education because this is your focus. This is your gift. You know, this is uh, this is what you want to do. This is what you desire to do. This is more like purpose when you have the right idea and you have the right cause. It's biblical. And they say, all right. It's, it's funny when you see, oh, we... we we have these openings for, for coaches, but and we we're, we're about equal opportunities. But the first the first requirement is is a bachelor's in is a master's in business or a bachelor's. You mean to tell me that you need a bachelor's and a master's to lead in a soccer environment? That's what you're saying. That's an equal opportunity. Because you're saying that is the principle. It's, if it's a requirement, it's, it's not, oh, we would like to ha- you to have this. It's a requirement. So you're saying a, a person needs that to be able to stand on principles. And principle is truth. So you need, and most of the people that I know that are successful, that have people working for them, is the people who actually went and get the bachelors, but they didn't, or the masters. And it's good to have that. It is If that is your journey, that is your focus, that is your desire, that is your gift, that's where you go educate yourself because the things that you want to do, I don't expect you to focus on going to a soccer course and learning about the game and all the inner workings of the game if you want to become a mechanic. You will go study mechanic. If you, nobody says uh, to a mechanic when on on an on a, in an interview or on a, on a requirement, uh, you you need to have soccer knowledge, or you need to have this sporting discipline knowledge to be able to become a mechanic. A person don't study masters go and do a master's in sports or a master in coaching to become a surgeon. That's not a requirement to become a surgeon. Principles. I must study the principles within the discipline I'm in, so I could you think about a, a surgeon trying to do mechanic and then have to go and perform a surgery? <laughs> How does that work? So the game model is not just something of soccer, but it's what it's speaking to, it's speaking to principles and sub principles.
that leads. Forget the word that that influence or impact. Let's put leads. It leads the individual behavior. It leads the collective behavior. It leads the functional group behavior. But you refuse the principles, but you expect to create leaders, to create young people of accountability and respect. Respect of all cultures, of all races, of religion. You want to develop that with workshops and develop that with training, but you, you don't develop, you don't talk about principles and truth in all factors, in all environment, in all situations. It's crazy. We have to rethink that. And while the truth makes people uncomfortable, uh, and it should, it makes me uncomfortable, but it's necessary. If you have any character, the truth is necessary. And sometimes you don't, you don't see it. It's very difficult to change it when you're in it. Sometimes you have to look on the outside. You have to come out and look back in and see. Principles. Which gives me a good opportunity uh, to bring this podcast down. But before, just need to share with you the Iron K just, just clean. Um, excuse me. Learning corner which is once again uh, trying to establish principles within um, our athletes, within our environment. So stay stay with me um, as we go through this quick process, this quick interruption. Then we, 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 we bring down the curtains on, on this podcast. We'll be right back. So what we did was we allowed them to play starting high with our nine, taking away that, uh, that option early um, and allowing this option, which allow eight to close this action and our six um, cover the ball side, which deny the spaces between the line by coming ball side with our actions which allow us to stay pretty much numerically um, capable and able to deal with if the situation, if they were able to get out of the press or the situation that we presented to them. But they were unable to utilize the space based on a couple of things, our positioning, our players positioning rather than marking players, we changed the mark into spaces where they didn't have the option to utilize um, the, the lines in between us. So this is one way you can have this, you, you, one way you can approach your defensive action if you're playing against a team that um, are possession-based and want to use the different terms of the field to create numerical advantages to create scoring opportunities. Thanks for staying with me again. I'm looking forward to seeing you at another learning corner. Welcome back, hopefully, uh, to the Coach Kayo show. Kayo, they here. Hopefully that, <clears throat> um, that learning corner was helpful in terms of 
the defensive function of the game. And I know you saw for some of you who might be looking and 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 thinking about what is the principle there. Uh, one, it's how do you control space? Um, how do you stay connected? Um, that's the principle right there. How do I control space? And, and that could be done in varying ways. But to have that understanding and, and to know where you want to control the space, then you're able to adjust and adapt in any situation, in any moment, because you understand the principle. It's easy to tell somebody where to go, what to do, when the ball is in this in this area, when it's in this moment, you run here, but then the situation changes in the game because you're playing against an opponent. And they might be smart enough to have one, two, three variations in, in order to deal with you uh, and what you're trying to do. So establishing the principles and teaching the principles uh, from simple to complex based on the environment and obviously the age and the stages and, and, and who is in front of you is still important if you want to empower, you want to uh, raise the level to give the athletes actually a, a chance to succeed, you, you must teach principles. Okay? What the, what the game model comprises, what does it comprise of? We just talk about it, and you just had a, you just had a moment um, within the game. So it speaks to the moment in the game and how you utilize uh, principles and sub-principles in those different moments of the game. Some say five moments in the game. First, it used to be four. The four basic ones, attacking, defending, transition moments. And now, the set piece is a big part. So it, it has been added to the moments of the game because it plays such a major role that time in practice is given to that because 26 or so percent of goals now are scored from set pieces. So defending and attacking have brought us now to six moments. So within the game model, when you speak about the game model and, and what it's comprised of, then you're talking about the moments of the game. So principles must be taught in all moments of the game. That should be the focus. It is too complex to, to just, just to instruct on what to do because it's happening so fast. So this, this not um, the level of consciousness is what is in the non-conscious uh, aspect that has been brought to the consciousness through consistent uh, contact with the game, spending time with the game. If that is your desire, that's all I'm saying. There need to be specific contact hours every week to be able, in all those moments of the game, to deal with the variations that comes in those moments of the game. Because you're not using your consciousness. Your brain cannot even function at its highest capacity when you're running at 100 miles an hour. Or things are constantly changing. Because when things change, the rules change. And it's the system in your brain that allows you to make the necessary changes when things change. And it can't happen with consciousness. It's too slow for you. When, when you are in your consciousness, you move slow. Everything slows down. That's why you're able to make good decisions. You know, when someone is angry and they don't allow themselves to slow down, they will say whatever comes to their mouth or what they're accustomed to doing or what they're accustomed uh, to saying because it's that non-conscious behavior is now in their consciousness and it's functioning from an automatic position. It's the same way with the game. You have all of these moments and it's too much. The, the brain don't have the capacity to hold all of that information. So what is depending on is what you've done that now is in your consciousness with autonomy. You're, you're able to do it. When you see the situation, you react because you've wired yourself that way. So your brain not really functioning 
from uh, a position of calm, well, you 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 alert you you have the calming system and the alert system, but it's it's more of what is in that muscle memory, what you have done. Because if you if you try to use your conscious brain in that moment, you have to slow down. But the game going at hundred miles per hour, so with focusing on the game model, now you understand that the moments in the game, you now you've got to learn all the principles, all the foundational truths that allow you to perform at the highest level. Team structure. How are we gonna organize? How are we gonna play within these four moments? How are we gonna set up? We could talk about this all night. Like I said, my answers are very long because I don't like complex things. I have to break it down for myself. Then the organization of these principles. And then you have to understand the level of the players and 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 then you might uh, you might have to break those principles down uh, in from the macro position to a more micro one because it might be too much because they're not there yet. It's it, it's something that they're now uh, embracing, and I can't tell you. New things make people very uncomfortable. It don't matter if it's if it's helpful or not, if it's the truth or not. If it's new, it will make you uncomfortable because you don't understand it. You 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 you're not able to uh, to access it in a way that you will see progress. Most times, when you're learning new things, you regress. You have to regress a bit because you have to rewire the things that are already there that is producing the behavior that you don't want. So something is something you're doing that you've you you're now accustomed to, but it's producing results that you don't necessarily want. But now you've got to learn this new thing, and this new thing. It's not producing results you want because you're still dealing with that old thing that keep popping up. And then on, on the side, you got lacks, you lack support in, 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 in that process. You say, ah, no, let me go back to what I do. I, com I am comfortable with that behavior. Because no one is allowing that process. But the truth will stand. No matter what you do, the truth, you have to believe that the truth will stand. The only time things happen bad is when people reject truth. The only time, that's the only time things consistently stay bad. But sometimes bad produce success. So it produces some amount of comfort. Listen, there's so much benefits in understanding a game model. There's so many benefits. Hopefully, you all go back and Break this podcast down to whatever speaks to you and uh, whatever might interest you to help you to advance your game. But there's so much benefits in understanding and really focusing on, uh, really concentrating actually on the game model and really trying to educate yourself, excuse me, in this aspect. Because without the game model, you can't have a, you know, the benefits actually of it is it creates a, a clear, plain philosophy. You have a clear, plain philosophy. You know exactly what is it you're trying to do. And when people know exactly what they're trying to do, 
it creates less chaos. Because it's not about your opinions anymore. It's about what we're being held accountable to. And people who like their opinions more than they like truth or they like uh, to be aligned, they create chaos openly and privately. But they think they're doing, they think they're doing what is best because that because they don't align with what they should be aligned with, which is whatever principle is established there, that's what you need to, that's what you need to be preaching. If you're preaching anything else, dysfunction, chaos. Nothing succeeds in that environment. It only makes steps and, and, and call it progress. It makes small steps and, oh, it's progress. No. Where's the transformation? Create clear strategy, framework. You need a framework for everyone to follow. And it can't start at the starting point. <laughs> it needs to be there. And everyone walking through that door should be clear about that framework. This is the framework. You can't change it every minute to, to, to facilitate uh, people's emotions and, and 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 all of that stuff. No, 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 no. This is the framework. If this is the framework, okay, let's build around this framework. How much how much more can we advance it? When you see people constantly changing, oh, we're not doing that no more. We're doing this over here now. And uh, no, 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 no. Yes, there's variations to things, but framework, principles, those things should be consistent. But yes, we're gonna we will build on top of that. We're not changing it. Game model for you. It's a clear football idea. Clear. Clear football idea. Clear football. Clear soccer philosophy. When there's a game model, you have a clear philosophy. It don't, it don't mean people, it don't mean that people will agree with it. It don't mean that they will like it. You don't, all of these things don't, uh, don't, don't necessarily make you comfortable. As a leader, as a player, not because you're doing something that is right, it will make you comfortable. A lot of times it makes you more uncomfortable. And because it's testing, it is testing you to see if you have the character to stand on what you stand on. This is football. This is soccer. And people should have their own ideas. But it must not just be ideas without principles, without a clear game model. What? How could you have an opinion without a game model? And if someone has a game model, how could your opinion be outside of the game model? <laughs> Chaos. When you have a game model, you're able to measure progress. And, and those things should be uh, the benchmark for forward or stop or change or no you have to measure that thing you have to you have to it allows you to do it oh did this game model work where were weak areas where were strengths what challenged that game model what were where were the challenges where were the threats what opportunities can you see out of this that's what it gives you an opportunity to measure things. 
not just go with feelings and 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 what somebody says somebody saying something who don't even coach a team just their own personal feeling from their own professional environment and how they think things should get run i don't see soccer coaches in their environment telling them in those board meetings or in those hospitals or wherever they are working how to run their show or how to do things Football soccer has a game model, and that game model is given to professional people who have taken on the journey to educate themselves within this process to be able to teach, to be able to coach, to be able to lead the people within that environment. How do we allow people outside of that environment to make a decision based on their personal feelings? their personal idea, their professional understanding that has nothing to do with the game and what comes with the game. Maybe because it's popular. Maybe because it scores points with people and they benefit and they are successful. But I tell you, when you abuse truth, you create chaos. You create dysfunction. The advanced game intelligence, it creates a better understanding of what you call private is to IEDPs. When there's a game model, you can now advance the game intelligence within the individual players, the collective group, the functional group. Great benefits from really focusing on this on on on, uh, on this game model. It advance the intelligence. That means you have the ability to make different variations. One of the hardest thing in soccer. Is to have variations, especially in the attacking side of the game. Without the ball, yes, you can make those adjustments. But when it when the ball arrives, variations. Oh, we should we want to see this. It's amazing how people speak so highly about what they want to see, but they have no systems in place for the things they want to see. It's always amazing how people could speak so intelligently, could speak with so much clarity of what they want to see, but then ask them, what system do you have in place? Or what system have you put in place to see what you're talking about? You can't just go on the field and do it, right? That is not a system to create that level of intelligence. And when you talk about variations, it don't start with on the field. It starts with off the field. What will you do to improve the learning process of players at different stages within their learning to bring that into oneness because it's 11, 20, 18, 22 players. Too. Mm -hmm. How do you bring them together? When you finish bringing them together, you have to bring them together to also deal with what the opposition is trying to do. So it's not just a business of themselves, but it's also the business of what happens when you're in front of a in, in front when you have an opposition in front of you? That process is different. People are at different stages of their learning. Some might be at the cognitive stage. They might be uh, at the what is it? They might be at the associate stage, and, and more times than that. The autonomy stage, that's, that's, that's way, way down the road. But again, 
When you start talking about game model, you have to start talking about all of those things for the for to really be able to advance the intelligence of the players, to advance game intelligence, to be able to help players individually grow, which allows them obviously to play with variations, the ability to identify trends. And you have a clear game. When you understand a game model, it leads you to a better understanding of trends in the game. If you don't know what to look at, you don't know what to look for. I'll say it again. If you don't know what to look at, then you don't know what to look for. If you have no knowledge, then you don't know what to look for. You're just an instinctive person playing with creativity, which is necessary, okay. But it's, it's, it's only so far that will get you. I ask you, how far are you now based on where you want to go? Are you happy with where you are? Are you comfortable? Do you know why? You, If you're not comfortable, do you know why? And if you're really comfortable, do you know why? On both sides. To you. If you're struggling to get to where you want to get to, do you know why? If you think you're getting there, can you articulate exactly why you think you're getting there? Trends. Have a clear system of play. Obviously, a game model will help you to have a clear system of play. If you're a coach and you're listening to this podcast, it helps you to identify player profile, their game model. Someone could tell me a player is a good player or he's good, but they don't they don't they don't have a game model. Oh, based on what I saw, or based on what I'm seeing. Positional profile. A game model is everything to the game. All right. Hopefully we get some get some coaches who want to dive a little bit more deeper into this into this into this conversation that we all can learn and benefit from it. But where do we start with it? Purpose. You can't have a game model without a purpose. Excuse me. If you respectfully, if you create a game model without a clear purpose, I talk about when I speak about purpose, I'm talking about with a clear cause. And when you finish creating it, you have to live it, you have to do it. Then everything under you. Because of the foundation that you create as a leader is affecting everything under you. Let's start with your purpose. You must be clear. That is an opportunity to show the true measure of your character. No one knows what you're doing no one knows your your strategy or your idea but if it's if it's without purpose and we're not gonna say you have a purpose if it don't line up with truth it's not purpose it's something else because purpose must be aligned with truth It must be aligned with truth. We don't al- we don't align purpose with nothing else. You could you could say, well, this is my purpose, but it's wrong. No, that's not purpose. You could call out what you want to call it, but purpose is aligned with truth. Purpose stands with principles. It's a oneness. What you see, what you what you see is what I do. What you hear is what I do. 
in light and in dark. <laughs> All of us must come into that realization. There's no other way. Things only go wrong when we reject truth. We keep covering it. We're going to keep finding ways to go around it. But it will continue to pop up. It will continue. It will pop up at different times, different moments. It's not going nowhere. When you, when you reject truth, you will create chaos. No matter when it happens, it will happen. It will happen. When you get to purpose, then you could start talking about goals. Long term, short term. Once you got to get to purpose, then you get to goals. Then the learning process. Now we've got to go through that process. And everybody has to agree there's a process. You can't jump from into information to action. We talk about here, we talk about it here in our education sessions uh, that we hold about goals going through a process of information to knowledge to then action. Most people want to go from information to action. They hear something and they think, whoa, I got the answer. No, I'm going to go do it. No, this is a process. You gather information. Then you've got to internalize that information, which is knowledge. And then, based on that, the actions will be a representation of what you've downloaded. You can't just get information and then say, I'll go do it. Some people say, oh, I'll just go to this coach one day. He will tell me what to do. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to go do it. And then two weeks after, they can't do it because it's a process the brain has to go through. Uh, to rewire bad habits because the, the moment you are the moment you have a thought it produces an emotion it produces an emotion and if you continue to feed it then it gets into your consciousness and that consciousness produces a feeling which is the action that you're carrying out so when it gets to your consciousness like all the bad habits that you've developed it's in your consciousness so that's what you're doing not because you want to do it but it's running on autonomy. It's automatic. So now you've got to create new thinking that produces new emotions. And with consistency, those new things get into your consciousness and replace the old things. And now it produces the right feeling that you want and the outcome that you desire. It's a work in progress. We all have to go through it. So all the things that we that we do that we don't necessarily want to do, but we're still doing it, is because we don't understand that we don't understand the system, the process in which this brain must go through and this mind must go through and this spirit must go through before we can really see transformation. We want to stop with information. Oh, I get the information. I'm ready now. I'm good. Oh, I know the wrong. Okay, I'll go do the right. And don't and forget that I need to take that right, download it in my system, process it, bring it into my consciousness, practice it before that process could happen. So you, if you don't know why you keep doing the things you don't want to do or saying the things you don't want to say, it's it's not necessarily about you haven't figured out the system to beat that thing. And that thing that you're doing is the thing that is rejecting the truth. It's constantly rejecting the truth. So you could stop doing something for two months and then next month you'll do it again. It's easy. Because you, you're not operating within the system to break that thing. All you're doing is taking information and, and trying to go right to actions. You're not you don't understand. You have to put yourself on a process. I'm constantly on a process. This is this is how crazy it is. I'm a process for 21 days to don't scroll at all. I'm on day 12. 
don't scroll at all. Nothing. You don't, you don't, you don't scroll. And it, it's just a nor it's just the most simple, might be the most dumb thing. But I tell you, it's hard. I got to remind myself, hey, what, what don't you're not doing that. It's crazy just not to scroll. It's, it's, it's without no, it's without really no importance. It, it, it can't, it might not do something, but I'm just trying to show you. It's just an experiment with my own self to see when you just do stuff and, and, and you just, it, it's normal. And yeah, yeah, it don't have no, it have no force over you. But then you stop and you realize, wow, why am I struggling to do this simple thing? Because it's, it has reached your consciousness and now you've got to fight. You have to fight. That's why you need good leaders, good people, good people around you, good people to help you with this learning process. Because it's a process. Nobody wants it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm helping somebody. Produce a clear system for success. You have to. That's where you have, you have to produce a system. Don't talk about success, but you have no system in place. How are you going to do it? I know you want to do it. I know you plan to do it. You might say you're doing it. But what is the system? Are you changing it every time? When things don't work out, you change it? It's like you're scrolling, you're looking for the hit. You're looking for that moment when you stop, ah, this is the one. And that was like after an hour, looking for something of interest. So the game model bring all these things to light. It's football. It's football. It's soccer. But it's teaching us about life. It's teaching us about character. It's teaching us about oneness. It's teaching us about standing on truth. It's teaching us all these things that we're rejecting because it's just soccer. It's just a sport. It's just recreation. Um, but it's a gift because people pay ridiculous money to go watch players play. And they should. People want players to sign their autograph because... And they put it in their house and they celebrate it. Some worship it. Everything on this earth. Everything got its significance. You can, you should not make nothing insignificant. Because you don't know the purpose in which it's there. Not because they don't align with you or align with what you believe is success, what you believe is prosperity, what you believe is of importance. No, every single thing has significance on the face of the earth. Even the bad things, that is how, how important everything is on the earth. Even the bad things. Plays its part. So let's get back to the game model. Let's get back to teaching the game model. Let's get back to wanting to learn the game model. Because some people might want to teach, but some people don't want to listen. So it, it must work on both sides. You, you have to be willing to learn and want to learn so that and and those that are in power and in leadership must want to teach but they can't teach if you don't want to learn and 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 if that makes you uncomfortable then they will stop teaching and then we create all of this chaos come on it needs to it needs to have the connection cooperation collaboration so that everybody benefits i am telling you everybody will benefit is enough players playing the game and there's limited coaches that's that's crazy there's so many players playing the game but there's limited coaches everybody will benefit let's stand on truth let's stand on the game model i hope this podcast was helpful um 
I apologize if if I went on and on and on, but like I said, uh, I don't apologize to myself because this helped me to bring all the, the things that I see and I deal with that I don't understand. It, it allows me uh, to simplify and to bring it into uh, realness with with me and how I how I how I live. So hopefully, with that, someone can benefit who might, you know, struggling with. Okay, why am I not? How am I not? Okay, what do I need to do? Uh, maybe they have something to go back and listen or look at and 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 say, you know what? Let me try this. Let me take this. Let me take this route. I've never tried it before. Um, don't 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 make a a final decision on something that you've never tried. You know, you've tried many things, you've heard many things, but you know, hopefully you will you will try principles, you will try standing on truth and working throughout that process and see what happens. And maybe we have some stories to tell uh, that we could go and influence somebody else's life. Okay. Thank you again for being uh, with me on the Coach Kaya show tonight. Please do share, please subscribe. Uh, please support um, so that we continue um, to, to, to encourage and to inspire our young people uh, to live out their purpose. Stay blessed and have a good night. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pearl Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate. For all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today.